treatment on the scalp and on the ends and then chop a little bit of your ends to make it feel less heavy is that okay okay perfect i'm gonna start off by putting this serum in it and i'm gonna put this mostly on the roots and then kind of massage it down the ends okay it's gonna help um with hair growth and also just to rehydrate your ends and stuff it in now with my fingers just like this so it can really saturate into your scalp, 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 scalp. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna bring that hair around 
make sure it gets all the way to the ends. isn't really doing much that I already did with my hands, so I'm gonna just go ahead and set that down, and um, while I let that sit, I also like to put a little face mask on my clients, just kind of for an extra little touch, so let me get your hair out of the way while I do this. Okay. Right. Moving your hair away. sits and your scalp treatment sits, I think I'm going to go ahead and measure the hair that we need to cut off. How much were you thinking about taking off? Like an inch, two inches? mostly where the damage is too. Let me just double check. Yeah, definitely around this mark. Around the two and a half mark is where I seem to see the most damage. Okay. Moisten up your hair before we start cutting it, 
just slightly to make it a little bit easier to see where the lines should end up being good. one big chop to start out and you let me know how you like it and I can continue with the rest of your head. Continue with the rest of your head, okay? Alright, so let's go ahead and... Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. Make the other side even. Then I'll let you look and make sure it's the right length and stuff. Okay. Alright, go ahead and look at the mirror first. What do you think? Just go ahead and turn around. It's right there. Perfect. Okay, good. Even a little bit shorter. Okay, perfect. We could even do the shortest length like right here kind of in between your eyes and then just go down from there right now mine are really grown out but I usually get it around mouth around like right here what do you think what do you think okay yep yeah, we'll start with the mouth link and then if you like that we can move up Shorter. Okay, nice. I like the boldness. Let's go ahead and just going to. I'm gonna go for about nose to in between mouth. Okay. Okay. What do you think? Perfect. Okay. Good. Perfect. 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 I'm gonna go with that then and just do some face framing layers. It 
take a little getting used to those bangs. They do like to get in the way a lot, but I'll show you how to style them before you leave with the hair dryer. Would you like to look in the mirror real quick? Okay, yep, turn around, it's right behind you. Turn around. Um, yep, it is really beautiful, really beautiful. I'm proud of my work. Let me go ahead and make sure I got the right lengths. Let me measure your curtain bang so you know what length you want it to. Okay, so from your scalp down to the middle of it, it ended up being at like right above your lips but below your nose. So just for um, future reference, that's about five inches, okay? So if you want to just tell your hair person, or if you come back to me, I'll remember. Five inches on the curtain bangs with face framing layers down. Alright, perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and finish you off with some cream, styling cream, and then I'm gonna show you how to style those curtain bangs with the hair dryer. Dryer. I'm gonna put it on low heat. So let's just okay, perfect. I'm just going to grab these curtain banks and kind of okay, just like that, just wrapping it around the brush as I go. social media, make sure you tag me. <laughs> <laughs> 